It's time to hear from the players and coaches. This is the BYU Baseball Post Game Show on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's rejoin Brent Norton. All right, back here uh, with uh, Mike Littlewood and Coach. Uh, boy, we haven't wanna had one of these all year, e- either side, really, and it's just a, a tough loss. And I think the uh, the surprising thing is that happened on a Thursday with Jordan Wood on the mound. Normally, yeah. you know, you think you're going to be in those games all, you know, every Thursday game, but tonight just didn't work out. Well, Jordan just, he didn't have one pitch that was working for him today. And everything was, was middle of the plate, middle of the body. So it was belt high, right down the middle, uh, left change-ups up in the zone. And uh, in the second, third, and fourth, he kind of found it just a little bit, battled through it. But, um, yeah, he just, and, you know, I had to leave him out there just a little bit because obviously you don't want to, you know, you, you kind of see we bring in Ben and yeah. bring in Aiden and, and let those guys just kind of chew up some, some innings and outs, and Aiden really couldn't even get us to where we wanted him to, to get us, and Deming came in and threw an inning. But, yeah, disappointing. I mean, I think losing Brian, Sue today, you know, he, he just had a seizure, and um, it, the, the, the mood of the team just kind of dropped just like it did with Chauncey when Chauncey got hurt up yeah. at Gonzaga two years ago. But, uh, hey, we'll bounce back. I mean, I just think – Nothing really went our way tonight, um, and hitting's contagious. And so once, once they get the seven four lead, and then they're just banging out hit hit after hit. So and they got Murphy on the mound, who's awfully tough. That gives them a lot of confidence, I think. And yeah, and boy, you had opportunities though. You had opportunities in the first, the third, the sixth. Yep. Brock Kale, National Player of the Week, just didn't seem like he was seeing the ball well tonight. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I told Trent it's not not a great night for Jordan Wood and Brock Hale not to show up to the ballpark <laughs> mentally. You know, I mean, just and maybe Jordan was here mentally, but just wasn't here physically, and and Brock just didn't seem to, like he was here mentally or physically tonight. Um, but you know, you have to you have to tip your hat to those guys. They they got a lot of hits, and Murphy did a nice job. Uh, but I thought overall, I thought our approach was pretty good against Murphy. Um, didn't have his best stuff, but you can see why he's a USA type guy and um, just a quality pitcher. No doubt about it. Carson Matthews came in, got the start for Sue, swung the bat pretty well, except for that last. The bat had a home run, had three three base hits, so we kind of got a glimpse of what he can do offensively and and always, uh, you know, defensively a very good player. Yeah, he is. He's a solid player. If you know, he's a freshman, he's still learning. I think that the. Uh, Anybody with a good slider is not a great matchup for him. So when they bring in their closer in the in the sixth, that wasn't a great matchup, and it kind of exposed him a little bit. I I honestly thought Carson would be a good matchup for Murphy, uh, just because he likes to work in and he and he likes fastballs, and, and Carson likes the ball middle half, and he and he, he can turn on a fastball like we saw. Um, so when I saw him not get a against their closer, when I saw him not get a good uh, when he swung at the fastball and yeah. fouled it off, I thought, uh oh, he might be in You're trouble because here comes the sliders. <laughs> Well, Coach, uh, again, Thursday night, uh, as, as a coach, you're almost forced when you when the kind of game gets away from you. Felt bad for Callahan out there, but uh, but he was working hard. Deming came in and, and I thought really competed there in the ninth. Yeah, Deming, the did, Deming did a great job. I mean, exactly. Uh, I mean, he, he and Mitch might be the guys we go to. Uh, we, we need to use a little bit more. Um, we know who our main guys are, uh, and we're not going to throw them in a game like this um, unless it's 5-4 in the in the not in the third or fourth, but 5-4 in the eighth or ninth. And so there's guys that have to come in and, and try to keep you close. And tonight they didn't do that, and we let it get away from us. Well, Coach, every year there's games like this, uh, a little blip on the radar. But tomorrow night, I know the San Diego team plays really well with Murphy on the hill. You look at their stats. They swing mm-hmm. the bat better. They, they defend better. And now uh, tomorrow – uh, Easton Walker on the hill, and uh, and then and then Saturday, and so you still have a chance to win this series. Yeah, you know, I think innings second, two through five, really kind of showed when Jordan threw pitches where he wanted to throw them. It showed that these we can get these guys out. Uh, but when you leave the ball over the middle of the plate, so Easton just needs to come tomorrow and and do what he does. I mean, locate locate his pitches and and work down in the zone. And it's tough, you know, we give up four at Utah on thir- on Tuesday, and we give up four tonight, and then you kind of find yourself. It's almost like having a 30-point deficit in basketball. You, you expend all this energy trying to fight back, and, and then when Jordan comes and gives two in the fifth inning, I think it was. Yeah, that after two or After out. we score, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's I mean, just a tough he one. He was kind of cruising, and then all yeah. of a sudden the, the wheels really came off at yeah. that point. Yeah, it's like so. getting within two points after being yeah. down 30, yeah. and then all of a sudden you're down 12 again. It just kind of deflates you. But, hey, we'll come back tomorrow and we'll battle. Well, Coach, uh, always uh, tomorrow and Saturday, so uh, – uh, we'll look forward to those ball games. We appreciate you coming up. Your team's out over, over there and uh, waiting for you. So, again, we appreciate you coming up, and we'll see you tomorrow, All right. tomorrow Thank, night. Thanks, Brent. You betcha. Mike Littlewood, head coach of the BYU Cougars.
as the Cougars go down uh, tonight, 15-5 to to uh, San Diego. Cougars uh, five runs on eight hits. San Diego 15 runs on uh, on 15 hits. Murphy with the win, and Jordan takes the uh, Jordan Wood takes the loss tonight for the Cougars. We'd like to thank uh, Tuckett Slate for his great work. Uh, Nate Israelson back at uh, BYU Central. And uh, we'd like to thank everybody at the BYU Sports Network. And with that, we'll say so long from Arizona where tonight the Toreros beat the Cougars 15-5. to You've been listening to live coverage of BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU Baseball is a production of BYU Athletics in association with BYU Broadcasting. BYU Baseball is an exclusive presentation of the new skin, BYU Sports Network.